sweet. Glad to see you've returned. Safely from the Institute, sister. Ad Victorium, sister. Hi. Got an odd look on your face. I have some information you might want. What's on your mind? I came across a holotape. I'm looking for a stockpile of weapons. Bombs. Somewhere in the glowing sea. Any advice? I can help you with that, you know. Here's the area. I mark the location on your map. I know you've been through the glowing sea before, but remember to keep an eye on your Geiger counter. Thanks for the advice. Look, sometimes things don't go the way you planned. I read your terminal. Anything you want to talk about? Is that so? What do you know about it? Hey, I'm on your side. I just need you to tell me the truth. If something's wrong, maybe I can help. So give me the details. I, uh, I joined the Brotherhood not too long ago. I originally signed up seeking protection and comradeship, but I'm worried that I've traded away a bit of my humanity in the process. I'm starting to wonder if joining the Brotherhood of Steel was a good choice. The Brotherhood's message of hope for the future is idealistic and noble, but their methods leave a lot to be desired. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Could you be more specific? The leadership seems especially misguided. Instead of diplomacy, they wield violent confrontation to exert control. I suppose only time will tell how long I can stand the sight of spilled blood over my own moral fiber. I understand how you feel. Maybe quitting is for the best. If only it was that simple, right? <laughs> There's more I'd like to tell you, but maybe we should talk about this later when things have calmed down around here. You don't know? They didn't tell you? Elder Maxon? He's gone. I know what you did. I'm glad it's over, but... I just hope we haven't made a mistake. What do you think we should do? Maybe we should ask ourselves if the value of saving humanity is worth the cost of so many people having to die. I did what had to be done. I don't have any regrets. I... I understand. Let me know when you're ready to head out. Come with me. I need your help. That's what I like to hear. Our vertebrate should give us the air superiority we need to win this war. Can't talk right now. Gotta clean.
Should we even waste bullets on these idiots? anymore, are you? laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back.
Not quite right here. Hey there. Didn't think you'd show your face again. You better have some good news. Just curious what you're thinking. So I can't figure out why you're sticking around. You got what you wanted, so why don't you hit the road? I woke up and the world still sucks. What's the word around town? Been stuck out here too damn long. I'm itching to see some real action. You're upset about something, I can tell. You need to choose a side. You're either with the Brotherhood, or you're against it. Let's just get down to business, hmm? All right, out with it. What's your game? Here's a holotape I happen to have. You'll have to explain what's going on. Are you sure this is what you really want? The obvious answer is yes. Now, if you're done asking stupid questions, This doesn't make any sense. Why would you do this? Where I come from, you get orders, you carry them out. I have to report this. When I do, they'll come for you. You need to get away before that happens. Are you kidding me? You must have me confused with someone else. Is there anything I can say that will change your mind? There's nothing you can say. What's your problem? My problem is I can't figure you out. You don't deserve my help. Quit wasting my time, then. Step out of line, and I won't hesitate to drop you. Are we clear about that? Wait a second. Are you threatening me? You don't have the authority to do that. Figured as much. Looks like it's gonna be a full-scale war. What's the camp, huh?
<clears throat> if you're worried about Reese, it's okay. You don't need to say anything more. You do what you have to do. I wish there'd been another way. That's all right. I understand. I knew there was something special about you when you stumbled into our compound and helped us take down those ferals. And everything you've done since then for the Brotherhood, even for yourself, has proved me right. I suppose all that remains to be seen are your plans for the future. Are you still interested in traveling together? Absolutely. There's so much we've yet to uncover. Hey there. We sure dodged a bullet with that one. You got the nuclear launch codes? Here you go. Check it out. It was a walk in the park. Thanks. I'll make sure these get destroyed. Of course, we'll still have to deal with Kasten eventually, but this thing could have turned out a lot worse. This is all just another day for me. Here, I got you something. I realize it's not much given what you just saved us from, but I want you to know your efforts are appreciated. I'd also like your help with another project. Always happy to help. Back in DC, we had an elite combat unit within the Brotherhood, the best of the best. We called ourselves Lion's Pride. Our unit functioned as the Brotherhood's mobile shock troops. Reinforcing strongholds against concentrated enemy attacks, and spearheading raids into enemy-held territory. I'd like to reform the Pride here in the Commonwealth, and I want you to help lead it. What would be expected of me, if I joined? Besides leading raids and covert ops, you'd be expected to help recruit and manage the team. I'd be honored to join. Sign me up, then. All right. I'm glad to hear it. There's one more thing. Back in DC, one skill set the Pride lacked was a field scribe who can also handle themselves on the battlefield. On account of her recent service, I'd like to extend an offer to scribe Halen to join the Pride. As a Pride member, she'll be allowed to come live in the main bunker south of Oberlin. The amenities are a significant upgrade over the police station, and I imagine she'd appreciate access to hot showers and a clean bed. I've prepared a brief promotion letter for her. I'll let you deliver the good news whenever you're ready. Sounds good to me. I'm excited to see what she can do. Hey. Just the person I wanted to see. I have some information you might want. I was just thinking about you. What's on your mind? Someone's up for a promotion. Just need to see if everything's ship shape. Here you go. Check it out. I'm glad to hear it. It's a nice change of pace. You know where to find me when you're ready. What do you think? Are you offering to join? Absolutely. I've been successfully avoiding the fighting by following the career path of a field scribe. But I kind of like pulling the trigger every once in a while. That's great news. You made the right choice. Thanks so much for all your help. The Commonwealth's going to be much safer for everyone. You don't have to say anything. You're welcome. Hi. Caught you thinking there, didn't I? Um... Hey, got a sec? What's on your mind? That was all. Always a trail to be followed. <clears throat> so, I was thinking about our conversation earlier. About our friendship. How I said I'd let you know when I was ready to take the next step. Go ahead, I'm listening. It's complicated, but what I need to know before we go any further is... Do you like apples? Sure. I like fruit. Then how about I take you back to my place, strap you to the bed, and fuck your brains out? How do you like them apples? As long as it doesn't involve petroleum jelly and rubber gloves. I'll try to be gentle, but do yourself a favor and just say yes. Lock and load. Let's do this. You're gonna like this.
I may not go down in history as the greatest elder, but I'll go down on you anytime. Sometimes I just really want to rip your clothes off. So, I was thinking about our conversation earlier, about our friendship, how I said I'd let you know when I was ready to take the next step. <clears throat> Need something? I'd like to trade some items. Sure. That was it. Fair enough. You are paying me for this, right? A girl could get used to a place like this. Feels like this project has been going on for months.
So much research, so little time. Why do I get the impression <clears throat> I don't Look want to hear place. what you have to say? I never suspected that the Institute was completely self-sufficient. What do you think? You don't fail to impress. Apparently, I've misjudged you. The Institute isn't our enemy, remember. You can trust us now. Very well. Since you've given me no reason to doubt you in the past, your word will suffice. Tell me what's on your mind. I care about them, you know. It's time we close this chapter on the Commonwealth and begin one anew. We still have a long road ahead if we're to ensure the safety of the Commonwealth and her people. Sounds good to me. Are you interested in traveling together? I'm glad you asked. Your bravery in the face of the unknown exemplifies what it means to be part of the Brotherhood. Everything we've worked for has led to this moment. Now, on to victory. What did you have in mind? The Commonwealth. It's infested with super mutants. They're a reminder of man's folly when it comes to harnessing technology. Whether it's using biochemistry to manipulate genes, or trying to create life from a bunch of circuits, it's the wrong path for science. As members of the Brotherhood, it's our sworn duty to exterminate these abominations in every form, and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the Earth. So, can I count on you to get the job done? Yeah, sounds like fun. I'm glad you feel that way. Because our mission here has only just begun. It's my... Favorite person. Got some premium <clears throat> yes, shit Sentinel? here. Got a minute? Of course. Didn't have anything else. We salute you. Feed her power armor everything hurts. Sleep is such a waste of time. I'm busy. Yes.
Engaging hostile! This victory was but the beginning. Where can I take it? Insider and to the new. Goodness, what a mess. Nothing like a successful mission. Let's go. Huh? Gonna find you. Kill you. Blood to spill today. I'm through.
if we can. Be proud. You've served the Brotherhood well this day. Happy to help. It's been an honor. Ad victorium, Sentinel. In light of recent events, we've been asked to take a look at the behavioral mapping in the Gem 3s. Night Captain.
If dumb and ugly had a child, it'd be Paladin a super Paladin dance. Mutant. What's up? Can we chat? Have something for me? I've got some bad news. Here you go. No, it couldn't be. This is disgusting. I don't even know what to think right now. How could I have been so blind? Why didn't you tell me, Dance? I might have, if I'd known what I was. Believe me, this is more of a shock to me than it is to you. I didn't know. I thought synths were the enemy. I never expected to hear that I was one of them. How could you not know that you're a synth? It doesn't make sense to me either. It just feels like a cruel joke. I remember being a child. I remember growing up in the ruins, everything. I suppose they programmed that all into my head. I mean, I feel like I've been in control of my entire life, making my own decisions and determining my own fate. Even though the proof states I'm a synth, I don't feel any different than I did before. I still feel like a human. I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. I can't imagine what you're going through. My identity as Paladin Dance is nothing but a memory now. Everything I held dear, everything I've ever believed in, is completely gone. I'm a synth, which means I am a freak of nature, a perversion of science and an example of where mankind has gone wrong. For the benefit of humanity, I need to die. Not because I'm cowardly or despondent, but because it's the human thing to do. The empathy that you're showing me, it's a human emotion. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I've made my decision. I'm ready to accept the consequences of my true identity. Synths can't be trusted. Machines were never meant to make their own decisions. They need to be controlled. Technology that's run amok is what brought the entire world to its knees, and humanity to the brink of extinction. I'm a synth, which means I need to be destroyed. You need to face this dance. Dying is the coward's way out. I guess you're right. I should consider how my death might affect the people that care about me. People like you and Halen. I need to face the fact that I'm my own worst enemy, and live with the consequences. You're a synth, but everything you've done has been for the good of mankind. You're right. I'm not technology that's gone out of control. I've been a benefit to mankind, not its downfall. Perhaps now that you've opened my eyes, I can consider my next move. Maybe we should stick together a bit longer. Friends take care of each other, no matter what. That they do. I'd trust you with my life. And I assure you, that trust doesn't come easy. You stopped me from doubting the validity of my own existence. Words can't describe how much that meant to me. I'm forever in your debt. If you find any technical documents, you should bring them to Proctor Quinlan for analysis. Damn ferals.